Jesus. Yes, Lord. Waking us up this morning. Yes, Lord. Starting us out with a brand new day. Amen. Amen. A day we've never seen before. A day we're never going to see again. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. And we give God the praise. The glory and the honor. Amen. Amen. He's worthy. To be praised, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Bless our pastor, Pastor Deborah McCray. Yes. Happy Mother's Day to her and many, Amen. many more Amen. Mother's Days to come. Amen. God, we just thank you, God, for waking us up this morning, starting us out on a brand new day, giving us mercy that we don't deserve, God. We thank you, God, that you have given us a mind to worship and to magnify your name. God, you've been good to us. Yes. Better to us than we've been to ourselves. And we want to thank you, God. Thank you. Thank we want to give you praise. Praise. We want to give you glory. We want to give you honor yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Yes. That you are liar in yes. every area yes. of our lives. Yes. God, you are the best thing that best. has ever happened unto us. Mm. And we thank you, God. We give you the praise right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you. Oh, God, for all that you have done for our lives. Everything that you have done, we thank you, God. Thank you, God, for our rising up and our laying down. God, we ask you to bless every mother, God, under the sound of my voice, God. Oh, God, in Jesus' name. <coughs> my sisters, God, and my yes, aunt, yes. Brenda, and all of them, God, in the precious name of yes, Jesus. Lord. Those that are near, those that are far, God. Yes. Those that have even been a mother unto us, God. Yes. As an example of a mother, God. Bless yes. them. Right now, in the precious name of Jesus. Devil, you a liar. Yes. We rebuke your powers, your forces, right now in Jesus' name. And God, we thank you for a mind thank that you. stayed on you. Yes. God, a direction yes. of a mind, God. Oh, God, we thank you, God, for raising up the mothers, God, yes. uh, to have a blessed day, God. Let this be a day of blessings for them, God, to honor them. Yes. To honor our mothers, God, in the precious name of Jesus. I bless my yes. mother, my late yes. mother, God, in the name of Jesus, Catherine McCray. Yes. Bless her, God, right now in the precious name of Jesus. Oh, God, thank you for the examples that she put within our lives. God, we give you glory. And we give you the honor right now in the precious name of Jesus. Yes. God, once again, God, thank you for our precious pastor, Pastor Deborah McCray, in the precious name of Jesus. Now we will have presentations, amen, from the family. You ready, Nisha? Yes. Um, we are um, here representing the children of Pastor Deborah McCray. And we had a little something to say for her. And we definitely thank God for, for her and everything that she's done to all of us. 
22. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And I also have H. Exodus 20 and 12. You love this one, Mom. Amen. Honor thy father and thy mother. Amen. 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 Okay, I have E. Even children are known by the way they act, whether they conduct their conduct is pure, and whether it is right. Proverbs 20 11. And then R. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Um, Philippians 4 and 4. Amen. 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 Anybody you got anything else to say? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Y'all can stay on the line. Y'all can stay on the line. Amen. We just thank them. I just thank them from the bottom of my heart for um, them scriptures that they searched and uh, put out for me. It's a blessing to have them. Uh, you got Don, my son Don, the oldest, and he's here in back of West Virginia. You got Anissa. Anissa's in Charlotte, North Carolina. And you got the baby, Ebony. Ebony French, she's in Nashville, Tennessee. So this morning we made all the connection all over the world. And it's a blessing to be able to do that for your mom. And I appreciate y'all each and every day more and more as, as I continue to grow with y'all on the phone, FaceTime, and many, many times a day. I appreciate that. I love y'all to the moon and back. And uh, it's not a love that I, not enough of love that I can give you. But just knowing that y'all love me enough to do this for me to this day. And I know many presents are going to come, and they have come, and I appreciate that. Uh, but still, the presents ain't much to see in y'all. The presents ain't much to see in y'all, and y'all love presents, <laughs> But it's, that's a blessing. And I thank you again. I thank you once. I thank you twice. I thank you. We're going to uh, go on with the service. Uh, if anyone else got anything else to say, feel free, and we can just put y'all in here. Because I know, you know, y'all did a great job, and I appreciate y'all doing that. And uh, most of my a, a lady with a lot of like people have a, a pretty many scriptures, two or three scriptures. But I appreciate that uh, about mother, because it, it's really true about anybody's mother. And uh, we appreciate that because you have shared that with other kids and grown people about their mothers. And I know that especially for me. But to be able to, to air that on, on the Facebook, yeah. In, in order to air that on Facebook, that's a blessing to me and to someone else's mother. And this Sorry, time. I keep popping in so and out. We just, uh, we just doing, we know we're doing so many different things here this morning, but just getting prepared for the word and getting prepared for, for what we have to do here. And uh, we continue, you know, talk about being safe. And uh, being in a safe place because you know, this time we need to continue being in a safe place, be aware, and uh, knowing that uh, it's okay to be, it's, it's great to be in a safe Amen. place. Yes, you're in a safe place, you're more secure in a safe place. And uh, you know, we know Amen. everybody want to come out and do different things, but right now is not time. But this, this is a time our connection that we never had before is greater than yes, it was it before. And so, you know, sometimes we don't have a time to, uh, to sit down and talk to you, but now we have Amen. more time that we can talk to you and uh, be part of your life and just kind of still groom you. And uh, just groom you and then just, you know, just picking up that word and knowing that word and trusting God. And that, that is the most important thing, you know, and Ebony, this is Ebony's first time her being on here. Is it really? And I appreciate Ebony being able to connect yes, with yes, all yes. of us the siblings and uh, be part of this on today and I pray that she continue to be part of you know if she can get online also and continue to be part of our service that we have I appreciate you I, I appreciate you more than you can ever say um, if I start up here crying then I can't get through what we got 
getting to, but y'all know how I feel, and y'all know how much I love y'all. My love for y'all is, is unconditional. It's unconditional. So just keep that in your mind and think of that. And uh, I know we get weary, and we get we get fearful of things that we don't know nothing about. But we we got a God that we trust a God that love us more than anything. Love us with all His heart and all His might. And if He love us that much, then we don't have to worry about anything. We just trust Him and believe Him and be, and be safe. Be safe and be careful. Amen. So we're going to have a song at this time. Amen.
sang. He got sisters in New Jersey, sister in New York, and I uh, got him to sing. Jesus, I call your name. Uh, it's very special to them, but special to a lot of people. And uh, we just like to keep singing it so we can get in someone's spirit just to, to know how much we love the Lord. And uh, uh, just calling his name. That's so important that we do call his name. We in time of trouble, tribulations, uh, things don't go right, kids act up, people act up. We call on Jesus because we know He's always there for us. So, Space yes. uh, network here today. Amen. But we want to thank God for you. We welcome you here mm -hmm. and we thank you. Amen. We pray that something will be said, something that will be done that will bless your life. So we thank God for you out there today in the presence of Jesus. 
Amen. In Jesus' special name, I want to say again, happy Mother's Day to my sister, Louise. Amen. Uh, happy Mother's Day to my Brenda. sister, Yvonne, and my sweet aunt, uh, Mrs. Brenda Thompson. Amen. Amen. Happy Mother's Day. I do my best try not to forget you all uh, on Mother's Day. And happy Mother's Day once again to you, Pastor Deborah. Amen. 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 Praise God in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God is good. He's good. I'm trying to. He's good all the time. He's good. Continue to be good in our life. All Amen. The time is I'm going to get out the way. I'm going to get out the way. I'm going to get out the way. I have to be, I'm the one that does all the <coughs> videotaping and all, all of the other stuff. Amen. Uh, all Amen. of the other stuff with Pastor Amen. Deborah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you. Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you. With all of my heart, with all of my heart. Jesus, I love you, I love you, I love you. Deborah, I love you, I love you, I love you. With all of my heart, with all of my heart. At this time, we're going to present to some. Amen. You ready? You ready? We ready? Amen. At this time, we're going to present the song. Amen. Introduce to others. Uh, we got Dawn on the line. We got, I hope we still got Ebony on the line. Trey on the line, I believe. Trey, did Trey say anything this morning? Did Trey want to say something? Where's, where's Trey? No. He said no. Trey. Trey. <laughs> Wait till I see you. Okay, all right. Uh, we thank God for thank Trey you. and everybody and uh, Ebony and Danya and Danya. Where's Danya? Danya ain't on the line? No. Amen. Thank God for all of them. Uh, okay. Amen. Praise God. Keelan, Anisha. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. We thank God so much for them. At this time, we want to present to you, amen, our wonderful pastor here at the Sacred Church of God Apostolic. Our senior pastor, that's the pastor Deborah M. McCray, who will be who who will be bringing the word of God today. I pray you enjoy the word of the Lord. May God bless you and his smile upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I thank pastor God. Deborah, thank McCray. God. Can you cut, my, cut the voice down on the not on, on my phone? Not on what phone? We just thank uh, yeah. We just we just thank God again for been in, in the house of the Lord one more time. And uh, we will continue to send all the blessings out to all the mothers again. Uh, it's not enough we could say about a mother. Uh, we know she's a virtuous woman. Uh, we just, we heard on the phone the different things of a mother, the conditions of a mother. And uh, we just praise God for that uh, today. Uh, we want to send some uh, message out to Pastor Jackson, Sandra Jackson. Uh, God's House of Miracles, Bishop Jones, uh, Reverend Stillman's wife, we want to send us a message out to her. You know, she get to see it. We just said, God bless and have a great Mother's Day. So many, many more women that uh, First Lady Sims, we want to, Merlin Sims, we send a word out to her and the many more followers that we have. Uh, but just the connection that we have with each and every person that we appreciate that connection. Because uh, we know God can do it. God can do anything. And we know God can do it. And uh, this morning, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to be talking about different parts of uh, scriptures that's, that's going to be in the Bible. And uh, I'll probably just read them all to you. But uh, today, the scripture is going to be, uh, our scripture is going to be, my voice to you. Thank you, Mom. My voice to you, thank you, Mom. And when I was thinking about that, I said, you know, we sometimes our voice is not heard, and we know sometimes, you know, we know that a lot of our mothers have gone on to glory, and they're not here at this time. But our voices we speak here on earth, that they can also hear us. And I just want to say thank you for all that you've done. We thank you for the things that that was impossible that you made possible. And we thank you for that. Because a, a, a mother love is like no other love. 
And uh, you know, when when our kids say uh, they didn't do something, and they may have already did it, but the mother always take up for their kid. And that's, you know, something happens over and over again. But we just, you know, thank God for just being here again and being present in this, in this place today, in this morning, and uh, just so many things going on, and uh, God preparing us for uh, different things in our life, and uh, we have to realize uh, we are a purpose. We are a purpose to God. We are a purpose to our mothers. We have some purpose for them. And, you know, I can get into scripture. I'm going to be reading from, apart from Genesis 2 and 21. And um, as I was reading that, but I just want to thank God again for being here and just saying, take Dev out of this word and put you in this word. Because if it was not for you, it would not be here at this, in this place and in this building going to come from Genesis 2 and 21. And Genesis 2 and 21 says, mm. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh and said, Therefore, and the rib that was which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. That was 22 also. And when we was talking about that, we were talking about Eve, because Eve was the mother of the living. Eve was the mother of the earth when everything started. It was Eve. Uh, Eve had faults also, and we also have, our mothers have faults. You know, we're not perfect, and we have faults. And Eve also had faults in her, in her life. Because so this was all new to her. The whole whole earth was hers, and she was over all this, this earth. And if you think about that, that's, that's a lot to be over. You know, and you know, as we went on, we talked about this that that she had kids herself. She bore kids herself. And when we talk about that, then it, it grew from there, it continued to grow. But we have to continue to know that who we are, that our mother is so special to us, and that we we're, we're not perfect people. We we chosen people, and we're here. We're, it's a purpose for our life, as we know God, how we learn about Him. Life was never easy for us, but we continue to go on through what we had to go through to get where God wants us to be at this day. And so when we think about Eve, we think about all the animals of the land, everything you can imagine. And she became that mother of all them. And also being a mother herself, became a mother herself. And so when we think about Cain and Abel, that's what, it was, it was her, her sons, Cain and Abel. But as we talk about that, when you think about the, the woman, when God said, I'm going to make you a, a mate, a helpmate, then he made Eve for Adam. Adam was the man, and Eve became the woman out of his out of his ribs. So we think about that. We think about wow, that's you know that right there was a miracle itself to be done. That was a miracle that God had did and performed because he didn't want he didn't want Adam to be worried. He didn't want Adam to be by himself. So that's when he decided to make him a helpmate to help him on this earth. As we go on, we, we just look at our Proverbs chapter 31 and 10. And if I got the Bibles, you can always look at Proverbs 31 and 10. 31 and 10. Mm. We can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. And uh, we think of a virtuous woman because we think of that woman. She can, she's a virtuous woman. She always reflects the God in her. The love, not selfish, enjoying, and her love is unconditional. So if you take time this morning and think about your mom and you think about unconditional, uh, enjoying, um, you think about not selfish because a mother will think about you 
before she think about herself. And so we'll continue to see what a mother can do because a, a mother is that virtual woman. She's that woman that wrapped up in all the things that God made and made her like she was. And that was important that, you know, she was like that. And uh, when we think about that, we said, oh, a virtuous woman, we think about the love, the love for her kids, for her family, the love for people, the, the not being selfish, you know, think that she's not selfish about nothing she do uh, because she loved God and she loved God first. And uh, when we thought about unconditional, we said, well, it's nothing. She would rain, sleet, or snow she would go through for her kids and, and continue to go through that no matter what happens. Amen. Amen. No matter what happens. If, if she, right. she falls, that. she gets back up. She rises up again. She rises up again. And when we talk about that, we talk about, and the, the next person we're going to talk about is, uh, we talk about Mary. Mm. Mary, that was Jesus' mom. Mary, that was Jesus' mom. And when we talk about Mary, we like God. He, Mary, Jesus was formed inside Mary's womb. And when we think about that. We're saying, and when we have, we we go through childbirth. We go through a lot of pain. A lot of pain comes through that. But at the end of that pain, you get joy. Because you get a precious gold, and that's a precious baby. So the mother can, can have all kinds of pain, but at the end of that, she have a beautiful son, a beautiful daughter, that's, that's so precious to her, and that she loved more than anything. Mm -hmm. But she loved God first. She loved Jesus first. She loved him first. But who else would he plant this in besides Mary? What else woman could he have used besides Mary? So we're going to go to, to Psalms 139, 14, and 13 and 14. And 13 and 14 say, For thou hast possessed my rents, thou hast covered me in my mom's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearful and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knows right well. So we're saying again, and that was, that was talking about the, the he said, I, you're covered. You're covered. God covered you with the blood of Jesus. He covered you. When you when you was in my mom, my mom my mom's womb, he already knew your purpose Amen. in your life. Amen. You had a purpose in your life when you was in your mom's womb already. Forming to make a precious baby. That joy that you got from that baby, that son or that daughter. It was a precious thing God had did. So as we think of labor, we think of things that's not good. And we said we couldn't do it. And then, you know, you some people have to remember, you forget about the hard labor. Because at the end, you know, that's like the rubies and gold that you're getting. You're getting that joy. To say, oh, that's my baby. That's what I birthed. That's what I did. But because of God, the God in me, that came through like that way. So we're saying that we just love the Lord more than anything this morning. We continue to be blessed with God's doing. We should always, you know, love our moms. Show our love for our mothers. You know, um, I can still remember my mom's voice. I can remember, you know, we all can share something that our moms did that is still in our heads today. Uh, she may did something different, but, but I'm saying I may did something different for Don that I did for Nisha, that I did for Ebony. And they will still remember that because that is what they have in their heart. That is what they would keep. You know, it, it, uh, it looked like a situation that we, it may be at the end. It may not be right, but this is what we keep in our heart. We have something special that we share with our moms. And that's so important. You know, I can't leave out the dads because some dads have became moms too. And so we have to remember that also. And, you know, it's a blessing that God has brought them through this Amen. and keep on bringing us through this. Amen. You know, we miss our mothers, but God wants us to, 
to help us find peace and healing with our mothers being gone. So we have to find our peace and uh, we have to find our healing to know that they, they're in a better place. But they look down on us each and every day. You know, you always remember your mom. Yes. Your mom, your friend, your bodyguard, yes. your fighter, yes. your, whatever you, whatever your mom, that's your mom. Uh, you tell tell you get in trouble, that's your mom. Yes. She defends you to that's the better right. end. Yes. You yes. could be wrong. Yes. And your mom still will defend you. Yes. I'm telling you right now, because I've been there myself and did the same thing. But you know, we don't forget that. And we keep on thinking, you know, I can remember when I was a little girl and uh, we didn't have much food, but moms would always find a way to make something mm -hmm. for six kids, or uh, make something for 12 kids, and they'd be happy. I mean, today's day, our kids have everything, and they're not grateful. They're ungrateful. And it's sad to say because this is the time of the world, but this is the time that, that mothers are so amazing amazing person, amazing people, uh, the, the gift of life is from our mother. If, we, if, we, if I didn't have a mother, I would not be standing here today. I could not birth myself. If you didn't have a mother, you would not be standing here today. Great things have came out of kids that have mothers that was always behind them. And I'm not saying that no, we can forgive each other. We can forgive our mother because we don't know the struggle she made in her situations. But we know we can still love her. We can still ask her, what do you need to make this work? And I've known people that don't even talk to their mothers for months at a time. This is the day I've asked anyone who's listening, this is the day to have that connection with your mother. Because this, this day may be your last day you talk to your mother. That's right. And to hold the grudge, I hold the not understanding, it, it gets to be a problem with mothers. And mothers love their babies. I don't care what kind of mother she was or who she was in, in a lifetime, but she still loved you because she birthed you. You can't forget that mother that birthed you. You didn't birth yourself, but you have to this is time to make a wrong right in your life. Amen. Because you can't go on with your life knowing that I didn't have a relationship with my mom. I didn't know my mom because of the situation. I hold on, Elder. I gravitated to that thing that I was so angry about. All right. I gravitated to that thing because uh, I'm, my mother's not a business. My mother's not my job. My mother is because she loves me. My mother is that person when I got in trouble and I couldn't tell nobody else but I could tell my mother. That is that mother that stands by you through thick and thin, through the bad and through the good. Right. That's that mother. So when we get angry, or we get angry at ourselves for what the shame that we brought in our own life because we're not showing the love of God even to our own mother. So no, she may, you, you may feel she don't deserve your love at this time, but now this day is a day of forgiveness. And you need to forgive your mother and do your wrong right over. This is the time you need to say, I'm going to change this day that the Lord has gave me. All right, all right. We know it's Mother's Day, but we know it's time that we need to change this thing around. Because the devil want to keep stuff in your head and keep walking around in your head and keep getting you to think crazy things about your mother or the connection you had with your mother. Put that out the way and put God in that. And say, I don't understand why our relationship didn't go right. But I'm willing to try this. I'm willing to realize who is my mother. Can I identify my mother with anything in this world? Can I know that when I was a baby, she fed me. She didn't have to feed you, but she did because she showed that love. <coughs> so she got on hard times in her life somewhere. It's okay to get on hard times, but the thing is to get up out of that situation. Amen. To get up because God has blessed you. A mother's a precious gold like rubies. So when we think about a mother and, and today 
it makes me have tears in my eyes to think about my mom because I love my mom so much. That I would have, if it was a way that I could have gained my own self for my mother, I would have mm. because I love my mom. So, no, she wasn't perfect. She wasn't like I might have been. She wasn't like the other mother might have been, but she was herself. She weathered the storm, and the storms came. Many storms came, to, I know, to other mothers, not only my mother, but many storms came to other mothers, and they still weathered through that storm. So this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice in this day. But this is, our, this is Mother's Day, but this is the time that we need to have a relationship with that mother again. We need to call her on that phone and say, I, we need to talk. I don't care what the situation is, we need to break through that barrel that we had, we had formed, that wall, that brick wall that we have up, and saying, we don't know why we can't get through, because she never asked, why can't we get through? So we just kind of push stuff up under the rug and say, it's okay, I got my life done, I'm going to do this and this and this. But you're still not complete without your mother. Without your mother's love, you are not complete. And you should always show your mother love. Good or bad, you should show her that you love her. Uh, today is another day. And so many people, because of this virus, has gone and not here. They don't get a chance to say nothing to their mom or dad. Our kids. They don't need to do they don't need, they don't get to do a do-over again. Today is a day you got that do-over time to be able to do something for your mom. Pick up the phone, call your mom, say I want to talk, I love you. Call every day. If you call in the middle of the night, call in the middle of the night. I heard that they heard someone talk about a, a mother that they had. And they said the mother had nine kids. Nine kids, you hear me? I ain't talking about two kids, nine kids. And where do you think her mother, their mother was at? In the nursing home. And I'm just saying it to say we don't know the situation. But after nine people, somebody should have stepped up. And I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm just saying that you will never get your mother back again. This is the time that you show your love for your mother. Unconditional. Your part should be unconditional. Her part's always unconditional. Your part should be unconditional. Say, well, I remember that time that I wanted to uh, suffer and you spanked me. So you're going to hold that against me all of our life when you think of something like that. We have to think about what can we do to change this. We have to ask for forgiveness and repentance. We have to ask God, what can I do to be connected back with my mom? Yeah, I might call her every now and then, but I need to call her more often. I need to be connected to my mom because I love my mom. But she gave me birth. Remember that. You did not give yourself birth. Your mothers did. Regardless of the situation, your mother did. But we just want to just thank God for this day. And I know, you know, a lot of times people may, may not talk about because it's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day, but it's God's Day. God have gave us this day. Not only that, God have blessed us to be able to be in the house of the Lord one more.